but I cut all of it, loads of fabric, dishy patterns, size inclusive obviously, um, and swing chat. So today, yeah, I think it's been about three weeks since I visited this lovely shop for the very, very first time. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, I hope you're all doing fine. Um, give me a little thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Enjoy my content, that would be lovely. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, it would be lovely to join your gang. And um, yeah, I've had a bump in followers. I don't know where they've come from, but welcome. I don't know where you've come from, but welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's lovely to have you here. And um, if you subscribe for a particular particular reason in the last fortnight um let me know because it would be interesting to find out where you came from um but it's always lovely to have shiny new people and old acquaintances no matter how old you are still shiny to me okay get on with it emma stop the cheese so we're here for a particular reason it took me three years to visit this store i think um yeah at least two and a half years and it's the born textiles it is located in the sunny south side of glasgow um near pollock shaws now from what i have heard it's not that easy to get to via, via public transport. The links are a wee bit dodgy. But yeah, I travelled through by car. It was fairly easy to park. Um, when did I go on a Saturday? Fairly easy to get through as well. So hey ho. And I met up with the lovely other Emma coffee and glass slippers and we decided to go to Bond Textiles. Now I'm going to put in a little video on my tour but before that, before that I'll give you my first impressions and a little bit of background about Bond Textiles. So established in 2020 by Irish textiles specialist Bevan O'Daly. Her background is in fine arts and textile conservation. Um, so they kind of look for responsibility source textiles, which are certified by leading organisations such as GOTS. Now I'll put the thingy there so it explains those abbreviations um yes yeah, so <sighs> yeah it's really nice to finally get there um <laughs> and see it so coming up to the store i was like so happy i kind of went just before my birthday so i said this to my aunt i said look I know you're wanting to get me a present, but I'm going to this fabric shop. Would you allow me to have a certain budget to go and get something? So I did. So that's why I went, I bought. There we go. <laughs> so, yes. So man bought me what I got. So... Coming into the shop, I was like really happy. It's just laid out in a lovely way. It's not full to the brim with fabrics. It is really nice and curated as well. I don't mind full to the brim fabric stores, but this is quite nice because it's kind of got a really nice boutique way 
and it's just laid out so you're not overwhelmed it is in a sort of fabric boutique store way because the fabrics are curated they're responsibly sourced so it is quite minimal but i don't mind that she's also got lovely independent patterns such as paper cut patterns also oh oh paper cut patterns merchant and mills other pattern companies she's got lovely incredible samples as well of the patterns made up in the certain sizes but some of the fabrics that she had them made up oh my goodness it was a particular one the nova coat but the fabric was out of stock she can't get it restocked from the clock supplier that she had so i'm like mm, i've been dreaming about this fabric to make this exact same thing it was a nova coat and it was a lovely moss green oh it was just sublime to touch let me just say that so yes um as i was going around i was kept picking up things but i'll show you up for what i bought after the video so here we go um what else do i have to say <laughs> she's baron has also got as well as patterns haberdashery gifts and of course fabric don't forget the important bit fabric she does many workshops which are commencing um in march 2023 details are on her website also there's a quilting workshop and there's various pop-ups now the pop-ups haven't been updated yet but i'm sure if everyone's got nice juicy plans they'll be up on the website soon enough um yes yeah, so just a word of warning they have very limited shop opening hours so do check before you go to make sure that they are open wouldn't want to waste a trip um also there's a lovely bakery just up the road I didn't go to it but i passed it like a few weeks beforehand and it looked amazing um, oh, um so yes um gonna have to go back to the bakery me and emma did go to a crema i think it was called crema um for uh, lunch afterwards and it was really yummy really nice chai latte as well mm -hmm, i love my chai lattes so yes i'm gonna give you the little um video with some music yeah. i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm trying to make this darkness go away i'll paint with colors and i'll sing until my lungs give out i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day
before I go, Bevan does post out to the UK and round the world. At the moment, round the world is kind of on hold at the moment because the Royal Mail has had their international orders system hacked. So there might be a pause on that until they get it fixed. So do check before you order. Um, but UK orders are all, all okay. So if you see something on Bevan's site, go and have a wee look. That is Born Textiles. Okay, so what did I buy? Oh, so because it was my birthday, I asked hubby to get me one of these darning boots so I can do quilt and free motion on my machine now. I didn't get this from Bon, but yeah, just put it out there. So that's really exciting. Do check when you get your when you're going to get your foot, you're getting the right foot because your machine has different categories like mine is a mine is a I think it's a B or something like that so I have to look up category B and make sure it's B so what did I buy? why did I buy? so I've been after like a magnetic ceramic Sindish for a while so I got this she only had like two left so I went for this one and it has got like a sort of a textile I think it's pretty cool mm -hmm. um, I have already got one of these but um, I attached this bit with an iron so yeah had to get another one <laughs> had to um, while I was in the shop I saw these two fabrics can't remember what they are, but I'll pop it on the screen here. But I'll just love those two colours. Um, so I'm thinking of going maybe back and purchasing enough for tops. Because you can't beat a solid. It has got a lovely texture as well. So that's why I'm thinking maybe a couple of tops in these two colours. I can't, I can't get enough of these colours at the moment. They're just like my staples. Um, although probably not seen a lot, but yeah, I gravitate to those colours. Right, sorry, rustling. <sighs> this is my first ever ish copy of Taco. It's the most recent one. It's the artist workwear one and I I just couldn't stop myself. Lilac. <laughs> Um, also, this is one of these um, issues that the patterns are just crying out to me. So I think it's really up my style. And I can't wait to maybe try a couple of the patterns. Particularly, there's one pattern done by an uh, Instagrammer that I do follow. Let me just have a wee look. It's um, by Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna leave her second name, but yeah, um, I follow her on Instagram, and she's brilliant. She's pretty on it, with especially the fat source. Um, do 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 do. I'm just having a wee, wee 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 wee. I can't find it. <laughs> I'll pop. I'll pop up her Instagram handle, but yeah, she's prolific in the sewing community um, but the patterns are just oh love it love it love it love it um yeah so that is that so <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what i've shown you and what i've not shown you so i bought this type of fabric yeah it is gorgeous now i had a pacific pacific plan in this it's not changed but i will show you the pattern i've got the instruction here i'm going to make the mila out of this now the mila is by 
Tammy Handmade is the most second most recent pattern. I should just release another one, a dress, which is quite bodycon for me. But I do like the Mila jumpsuit, and I'm going to make it out of this. This is the mint one, and I believe Bond Textile still has this colourway. They had it in another two other colours, but unfortunately they've got sold out. But the mint just screamed at me. I do like a mint coloured. And yeah, I like a lilacs, yeah. You can see, you can see, but I'm gonna make the Mila out of this. The reason why I bought more fabric is a lot of my fabric cuts are 1.5 because I know that I can get a sweater. I can get the Jackson T or pullover out of 1.5 easily. But the Mila really requests more. Believe me, I've tried to squeeze the Mila pattern pieces out of 1.5 and there's just no way just absolute no way <sighs> so what else did I buy? what else did I buy? oh yes, yes I got one of these now I was thinking for a while um, about the hot hammer after seeing it from Purple Sewing Cloud, the lovely Sam kind of introduced me to it. I think there's a very similar one of these as well, so I'll be looking out for that as well. I think it will help me a lot. <sighs> can see not noted labels, so I got this lot. And apparently Kyle and the Machine have just released a Swedish Sourist label pack 3.0. Oh yeah, so gonna look for those UK stockists that actually stock it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's going to go into my collection. Talking about labels, I have um eyed up the newest ones from Little Rose's the Cheeks as well. So I'm going to go and have a look at hers and maybe put a wee cheeky order in. Um so yes, that is Bon. Bon Textile. And you had a wee video on there too, so I hope you really enjoyed it. Give me a little thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and have a lovely, fantastic day. Now, just before I go, I'm going to make sure that I have a video released every Tuesday. Now, if I have a second video, that's a bonus. But I want to be consistent with one video a week, and I think that will hit the nail on the head and I'll be hitting the ground running. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, yes, that is the big news. So I've kind of updated my banner to every a video every week on Tuesday or something like that. But Tuesday is going to be my release day. So I hope that goes down well with everyone. But if I do have a second video or third video, I will let you guys know on the community tab as always but yeah feeling that there'll be a video once a week on a tuesday so again have a lovely day take care of yourselves and 